Also tonight, as we get ready to send children back to school, some districts still trying to work out how they will staff their buses. Yeah, so tonight we're taking an in-depth look at the problem and the unconventional solutions that your district may be working on at this point. Here's a look at the nationwide numbers. In a report from the National School Transportation Association, 94% of schools that responded say they don't have the number of bus drivers they need. One in 10 schools say they're down more than 20% of their drivers. The Buffalo Public School District looking to get ahead of this problem. In fact, a survey is now available for families to fill out, letting the district know if they'll be able to drive their kids to school. The district says it's considering reimbursement opportunities for parents who self-transport. The hope here is that this will reserve seats on the buses for kids most in need of that ride to school. And this, of course, can be a major decision for families. The district says parents who volunteer to drive their kids will no longer have the option to put them on a bus to school. But families who choose to self-transport could get paid roughly 59 cents per mile to and from school. To understand the true impact this could have, I spoke with district leaders, along with parents and kids who typically rely on the bus. Tell us about the bus. What, what do you like about riding it? Well, we have a lot of friends on our street who go to the same school as us, so we get to be with our friends. Marnie and her sister Olive love to ride the bus. They don't love the alternative. What if your mom and dad have to drive you like every day and you can't ride the bus? What would you think of that? I don't really, I wouldn't really like that. But unfortunately, a national bus driver shortage continues to impact our local school districts. That's why the Buffalo Public School District is asking parents if they'd consider driving their kids if they got a travel reimbursement. Would that money incentivize you to drive your kids to school? I already have to, you know, it's just a bonus. Regardless of getting it or not, the kids have to go to school. The director of employment services at the Buffalo School District tells 7 News they continue to actively recruit drivers. We had an event at the end of March that yielded a lot of applicants and then just at the end of June. In Niagara Falls, Superintendent Mark Laurie says that they need about 80 bus drivers, but right now they have about half that. The only way to do this is to have the same 40 drivers do two runs, a middle school and high school run, and then an elementary run. In anticipation of this, we have changed the starting time for the high school students 20 minutes early. Lori says it's not easy to attract new bus drivers because of the hours and increased competition from package delivery services. Those are straight eight hour days, and oftentimes the pay and benefits are much more and you're dealing with a package instead of 55 kids. Another problem, Lori says many qualified drivers can't pass the marijuana portion of the drug test. Since transportation is regulated federally, there is still a requirement for marijuana screening. He says last spring, the governor sent each school district a list of qualified CDL drivers in the area, which he narrowed down to 24 people who weren't employed, but 22 of those 24 failed the drug test. So it was helpful to have the list, but we picked up two drivers from that list. It's a very big problem. A problem kids like Samantha hope won't jeopardize their bus ride to and from school. Because there's so many fun things to do and I get to see all my friends. Love talking to those kids. According to Indeed, a school bus driver in Buffalo can make a little more than $22 an hour, and a first student is offering a $5,000 sign on bonus for fully credentialed drivers. They also offer CDL training. To stay up to date with any school districts that may be looking to fill these positions, we'll have those for you on our website, hiring716.com.